Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So this is part two of the first video I uploaded where I shared you guys the main resources I used to score a 254 in my USMLE step one. Now I understand the first video didn't go into a lot of detail, so that's what this video is for. Now this is a resource that I highly recommend. Robin's Basic Pathology is great for mastering pathology. I read it alongside my second year pathology courses and I found it very useful. And I understand that because this book is so thick and dense, it may not be feasible for all to read throughout their second year. It is 23 chapters long, but one thing I do highly recommend is to read the first five chapters. And that ranges from cell injury all the way to neoplasia. Those chapters are really, really great to really solidify the basic principles of pathology. And that'll go a long way when you move forward with studying your systems based path pathological conditions. Now this book, is the Behavioral Science 4th Edition textbook by Barbara Fatum. And I highly recommend it as something to read for like 30 minutes to an hour a day before your dedicated study period, so during your second year. It's really great to strengthen your psychology, your um, epidemiology, and your public health. And I don't recommend reading all the chapters, but read the ones that you find weak for you. It's great. Um, it's really concise. All right, so this is my seven-week dedicated study schedule. My exam was on June 19th, 2017, and I had exactly seven weeks to study for the step one. So I started off with general principles. I had one and a half days for general path. I dedicated one and a half days for immuno, four days for hemonc, five days for cardio, two and a half days for palm, two and a half days for renal, two days for biochem, two days for endo, three days for repro, and three days for GI with an MBME after my first four weeks of studying. And then I had an additional two days for MSK. I had four days for neuro, one day for psych. And then for the last week, I really wanted to focus on reviewing all that I had studied in the past six weeks because I don't know about you guys, but I find it hard to remember things I studied like six weeks ago. So I really wanted to make sure all the information was fresh in my head before my exam. So I spent the last week reviewing all that I had studied in the past six weeks. All right, so this is the breakdown of my daily schedule. I made sure to wake up every day by 6 a.m., and designate one hour every morning for exercising because that's the only way I could stay sane through the dedicated study period. Um, by 9 a.m., I was doing questions because I really wanted to replicate exam day. And obviously on exam day, you're doing questions by 9 a.m., 9 to 5. So I did two sets of questions, took two hours to review those 80 questions, had one hour of lunch. And I also really wanted to emphasize how important it is to study micro, farm, and biochem frequently. I wanted to make sure to do that every day. So I designated one hour a day for micro and farm. Re listening to the sketchy videos and reading the correspondence sections in first aid, as well as one hour for biochem, reading my annotated biochem mystery section in first aid. I'd have a total of three plus two hours for my subject of the day, whatever subject I designated in my calendar. And then by 10 p.m., I was showering, relaxing. In total, it was 11 hours spent studying, seven and a half hours spent sleeping. Now guys, I guess this can be an opportunity for you all to learn from a mistake I made. Now, one idea I had early on was to write down the explanations for every question that I did in a UWorld question set. And honestly, it wasn't really feasible for me because I didn't have time at the end to review it. So I guess I'd recommend taking notes on the explanations in the U world because their their explanations are amazing. So I would recommend taking notes on the explanations if you have time to review it. So if you have like three months to study for step one, I'd recommend it. Now, guys, one last thing that comes highly recommended by me is Goleon Audio Lectures. Now, this is a guy who had a step one and step two review series 
in the early 2000s, and I believe someone who was in his lectures recorded all of them. And thank God for whoever thought of that idea because these lectures are amazing. They're a great review of all pathology and even some physio for step one. If you have more than two months to study for step one, I would recommend really listening to his audio lectures, specifically the nutrition, the hemodynamics, and the hematology sections. I highly recommend them. All right, guys, so that's all for this video. I really do hope you found something helpful. Um, you can comment more recommendations down below. Like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more. Have a great day.